everybody. This is Osiris, your host for 15 minutes. And guess where we are today? We're in the lovely location of West Hollywood. For those of you that are not in LA or do not come or are able to get to the Southern California area, this is a beautiful area in Los Angeles. Uh, we are at a location on Hayworth and preparing ourselves to interview a Norwegian fragrance designer. You might have heard of him. His name is Gear Ness, and we're going to talk to him all about how he came up with the idea of a fragrance called Lila. So stay tuned, stay with us, and we'll be right back. Stay a while longer, sweet tongue of fur and feather. The hey, everybody, it's Osiris again. We're back. 15 minutes to show with our guest for today, the wonderful, fabulous, and can, you can see he's a good looking guy. <laughs> Gear Ness with Lila Fragrance. He's the designer of Lila Fragrance. So, Gear, first of all, for those of you who haven't heard of Gear, very unfortunate, but for those of you who have, he's a wonderful, very famous designer from Norway, and you started uh, the design fragrance called Lila, named after your mom. Yes, what happened was when um, I was little, my mom always took me to the mountains of Norway every spring and summer. Mm -hmm. So I remember when I, I grew up that that scent of those mountains are so beautiful and fresh, clean. You know, you feel like you are away from everything. You're just like away from the world, so to speak. So when I created the fragrance, I wanted something that reminded me about, you know, Norway and my mom. So what I did, I worked with a perfumer for almost four years. So I collected all different herbs and the last ingredient I put into it was organic lavender because I wanted something soothing, clean, fresh. Yeah. And what I did, I copied my mom's signature without her knowing it. So I still screened her name and on the on bottle. Camera Lila, you see that beautiful bottle out there, everyone? See? Yes, I copied her signature without her knowing it. And I still screened her name on the bottle, and I gave it to her for Mother's Day. Oh, my goodness. So Lila is my mom's name, so I had to take really good care of it since I named the fragrance after her, you know. So that's how I come up with the idea of doing it, because I wanted something that reflected Norway. Yes. We didn't really have anything from Norway. We have a lot of fragrances in Norway from France, from Italy, from all over the world, but we didn't have anything that was specific, you know, reflective. that reflective of Norway, the mountains. So that's how I come up with the idea of doing it. Oh my God. Now, I know in it back now with climate change and everything, mm -hmm. how hard is it to find pure essences now with all the climate change and all the things that are going on? How protective? Are, uh, is the environment for growing those kinds of uh, wildflowers? Well, the thing is, in Norway, we are still lucky because it's way up here, up in the mountains. And of course, it changes. I mean, the weather had changed a lot. So of course, those flowers that maybe were blooming, you know, in, uh, let's see, in March, now take a longer time, maybe don't have an, enough of them more, because the past several winters in Norway has been very mild. We used to have snow all the time from like November, December to, April even, March, April. Now, this summer, the coldest it got was like 20 degrees. You know, it's been mild all winter long almost. And people say to me, oh, you're used to the cold. They say, not anymore. <laughs> it's almost like summertime in the winter. So, so obviously it has changed. I think it changes all over the world. Mm -hmm. And we have seen the effect, you know, in everywhere. Um, so that it means that you don't have enough of everything and it's not the same as it used to be, you know. Uh, we don't have this winter we used to have, or the spring, the summer is changing, so everything is changing. Um, but um, overall, I've been lucky to, to find the ingredients, you know, for, yeah. Now you mentioned organic lavender, one of my favorite scents. And Lila, I'm in love with Lila, I smell like Lila all the time, trust me. Can you give us a quick demonstration of some of the products you yeah. have, your design line? I know you have Lila fragrance for women, right. you also have a fragrance called Gear for Men, is that correct? Right. I named it after myself because I couldn't come up with a better name, so I named it Gear. I love it, Gear is very cool. <laughs> exactly. I said, shift it in gear and go. <laughs> <laughs> Shift it in gear and go. That's a right. Good one. But I have a great cream for dry skin because okay. a lot of people, especially in Norway, we have very um, dry weather. In and the in the winter, it gets dry too. Yeah, it gets dry, exactly. And here, you know, in California, I mean, it's dry, so we need to moisturize our skin. Yeah. So let me give a little hand massage for you so we can. 
Look at that lovely, and he's touching me. He touched me, and suddenly, <laughs> I'm full of Lila. So, um, a lot of people have problems with dry skin. Yes. And I wanted to come up with a cream that was not greasy. Now, what, what makes this cream different than some of the other creams you might find so, out there? Okay, so a lot of creams has mineral oil in it, and um, that's an ingredient that make it pretty little greasy, but it, it's an ingredient that a lot of creams are in a lot of creams. So mine doesn't have uh, mineral oil, but it has the metacone, which goes into your skin. It has vitamin A, E, aloe vera extract. So this is mainly made isn't it, for dry and sensitive skin. And so you're able to keep even with, you know how some yeah. lotions I know, especially with people, and I will say this, people with a little darker skin, sometimes, and fairer skin, it gets super dry and you look for, I know we look for things right. that are really oily, like right. okay, because it's right. oily, it's gonna keep our skin uh, moist. But this one, you can actually wash your hands and you're still moisturized. Oh really? It doesn't wash off. And what makes and it, what, what is it in it that makes it do that? You wanna give us a secret or two? Or well, it's the, the metacone and then okay, vitamins, so yeah. Means. But see the mineral oil, it's an ingredient that a lot of creams have, and it's nothing wrong about it really, but a lot of people don't really like the mineral oil, mm -hmm. and it clogs your pores, so this one is more pure, so it goes into your skin, supposed to just be on your surface. You can smell and feel the texture of it too. You can feel how it goes into oh, your skin. Oh, it feels lovely, you guys. Look, it looks like a whole new hand. See? My hand was withered looking yeah. when I first came in, and now, it, look at that, just a big difference in that hand from when I first came and in. And every time you put on the cream, my hand comes with it, so it pops up and give it a massage every <laughs> Oh, so. we need to, can we, can, can we rinse your hand for a uh, Yeah, of course. For massage? Oh, absolutely. Anytime. <laughs> and then, then, of course, my men's fragrance. I wanted to sniff me, too. Mm. It smells wonderful. Now, do you use a similar ingredients in both fragrances for men and women? Or do, I do, but men? this one also has um, wet woods. Mm -hmm. It has lavender and fresh citrus. And what, what is the fresh citrus? <coughs> How does that interact with the lavender? It blends in to make it more soothing. Oh. More, I put this in my hand. Gosh, <laughs> it mm. smells wonderful. Lila, for those of you, Lila is sold. Where can we find Lila? So I it's sold it's at good. Nordstrom's department stores. Yeah. I have it on the website, which is um, www. L-A-I-L-A. L-A-I-L-A dot com, you guys. So you'll know that's the way to spell Lila. You were saying, yeah. Yeah, so what I was saying is like, when I was a fragrance model, I worked for all different companies, right? And it's different scents and all that. And people come up to me and ask me where I was from. And I said, Norway. And they said to me, well, does Norway have their own fragrance? And that's how I come up with the idea. It's like, we don't, you know, we don't have anything special. And I, so I met this perfumer and I asked him what I need to do to create a fragrance. And that he told me, find ingredients that you like. And that's why I come up with the first thing that came to my mind where Norway, you know, the mountains, because that's where I spend a lot more time with my mom when I was little. And that's also, of course, when I come up with a scent, I wanted a name that meant something to me. Mm -hmm. So I named it after my mom. Now, what can we expect of the future for Lila? Can we, are you going to experiment with other lines or yes. you're going to do some other things? What we can, we, can we expect from your designs? Well, from my design, I'm working also on my skincare line. I have more items coming out with Lila. I have a new fragrance coming out uh, this year. Can we hear the name or no? I cannot Is it Hush name, Hush? Yes, we will, can't hear it right but, now. But it, will, it will be out, um, I hope, in the end of the summer, beginning of the fall. So uh, end of summer, beginning of the fall of this year, 2016, year, yes. we will have a new fragrance by Guernas yes. in it. We can't say the name, but right. hey, stay in tune. And I'm working with a big company doing this too, so it's going to be fun. You know what I mean? So like, is it going to take you outside of Nordstrom? Be, or? Outside, yes, it will be outside to other areas, you know, um, around, probably around the world now too. So it will be fun, you know. Oh so my goodness. Looking forward to that. And it will be also... Everything I do has something to do with nature and, okay. and, and clean and freshness and beauty, you know. Even I design handbags, I do all these things that has something to do, uh, you know, I like colors, but clean and light. I don't like too much. And they're very on. elegant. They're not yeah. those stuffy right. looking things that everybody smells. You know how people right. wear perfumes and different fragrances, but Lila is such a clean, fresh scent. I wear it all the time. Gear will tell you his... 
management people will tell you I'm a Lila fanatic. And yes. every time I'm always saying, can you send me some Lila? Yeah. And really also, quickly, how yeah. difficult has it been to get Lila from, to get it shipped from Norway to the United States? Is that a problem or not? No, because we have offices here and oh, okay. also, so we can have it here. And I'm going to tell you one little story before we, uh, we finished, if I can. Yeah, yeah. I was um, at Disney, in Disney World, and the guy come up to me, a young guy, and he said to me, I'm just going to tell you a fun little story. I was in a bank paying my bills, mm -hmm. and I smelled somebody behind me that smelled so fantastic. So I turned around, I talked to this woman, and she was wearing a fragrance. So we liked each other, so we exchanged phone number. They ended up getting engaged, they got married, they got a girl, they named it after my fragrance, <laughs> and they're coming into Disney, taking pictures with this little girl named oh Lila, because that's how they met. And they, so, they spelled her name the same as you yeah, spelled yeah. yours? They, they named wow. it after my fragrance, you know, of course. Oh, wow. And I had, so my fragrance can create even families, so. It's See, kind of fun, you know. it's a fun fragrance, it's beautiful light, and it creates harmony, peace, and they even got married. So for those of you who are lovers, put some light on, I might get you somewhere. Let's say goodbye to Gear. Gear, it's been wonderful having Thank you, you on 15 Minutes. Thank you so much. Again, you can reach Thank Gear you. on www.gearness, uh, yeah, G-E-I-R-N-E-S-S dot -S com, or Lila dot com, L-A-I-L-A dot com, or of course at Nordstrom's. Okay. And everybody stay tuned out there. This is Osiris with 15 minutes. Don't forget, we're everywhere. We're going to talk to Gear some more, and we're going to find out some more about his fragrance when it comes out towards the end of the year. But for now, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, 15 Minutes on YouTube. And that's a wrap. Bye. Bye. Stay a while longer, sweet dog